Inform Consumer Product Research using the ePinions website. And we're going to be looking specifically at MP3 players that cost more than $190 and that have a capacity of more than or of at least 60 gigabytes. Once the search results page has loaded, I'm going to start a new agent and begin by building a list of products. Once I've completed that, I'm going to scan through the list to make sure that every product was captured. And as I get down to the bottom here, I can see that the search results are continued onto a second page. So by clicking the next link, I'm given the option of adding a list pager. And a list pager will allow the agent to navigate through all the pages of search results until it reaches the end of the list. Once I've added that list pager, I'm going to click onto one of the products and actually go into the details page. And it's from this details page that I'm going to begin capturing the bulk of the information. So the first thing I want is the overall product rating. But as you can see, by default, when we capture an image, it captures the URL of the image. So I want to edit that by refining the captured text. And instead of capturing the source of the image, I'm going to capture the alt tag. And I don't want product rating, I just want the numeric value, so I'm going to actually remove product rating by adding it into the capture expression. And now we have a numeric rating. Now I also want to get the lowest price. And I'd like to get the location of the lowest price. But now for the lowest price location, I don't just want the name, I actually want the URL. So I'm going to refine the capture text. And using the HTML, I'm going to adjust my capture expression to capture what the href is, the link destination is. So now I have a URL. And the next thing I want to do is actually click into the reviews. Now I would like to know how many reviews there have been, so I'm going to capture that information. And I only need the total number. And then I actually want to get um, the information from the reviews themselves. So I'd like to build another list. And for each of these reviews, I want to capture the rating. I'm going to go through the same process again of refining this and grabbing the alt tag so that I have a numeric rating. And then I want to capture the pros and cons. And then I want to get the full review. So I'm going to click onto the next, the next page. And from this page, I want to capture the full review. OK. So I've completed my agent now. So I'm going to save it as ePinions MP3 Players. Save the agent and I will select to run it now. And so we can see that the agent has begun running, and if we come over to our collections, we'll begin to see some of the data that's coming in here. Now, the advantage of being able to capture information from forums or from customer review sites like ePinions is that this information can easily be, be integrated into a text analytics software. Uh, the Mozenda tool allows you to export data as XML C or CSV and by importing that data into a text analytics software you're able to find out things like trends in, con in consumer opinion 
and uh, you're able to potentially identify problems with the product that need to be solved. So this is an example of how Mozenda can be used to capture consumer reviews uh, in a research setting.